Good morning guys, Dragon Man here, I'm in my machine shop and uh, today I'm working on Joey's motor. Uh, he's from Michigan and uh, I got the whole Evolution motor apart here, all laid out and uh, we started glass beating the cylinders, uh, the cases, the heads, see how nice everything comes out when it's uh, glass beaded? That's the way I like to work on everything. So. Uh, <clears throat> The guy who had this motor before Joey used a lot of uh, silicone. See, and it gets all through the oil pump and all the oil passages. And silicone is no good uh, to put on the gaskets when you're putting your motor together. You have to use a uh, spray, copper tone spray. And uh, the only part that you use silicone on is when you put the cases together. See that? And that's the only time we use silicone on the motor cases. Okay, just a tip. So uh, he sent his motor in for rebuild your own motor. Uh, it came in a couple of days ago. It's going to go out Tuesday. Uh, today's Friday. Okay, over here. This is ready to go this weekend. And uh, we port and flow the heads. See a nice porting job from 38 millimeter to 44. Uh, high lift spring setup. We got Amco guides, Teflon seal, stainless steel nitrate valves. I bought out the uh, sports the cylinders here, nine and a half to one. And when you put your uh, pistons on a sports step back together, the big fly cut goes towards the intake. Just a tip. Uh, so the uh, big fly cut will be facing each other. Okay, the whole job right here, uh, $650. You can't beat it. Okay, over here, this guy here wanted his flywheel assembly all rebuilt. We did that, $295. Uh, bore out with pistons, rings, pins, and locks, $145. Rebuild the lower end for this guy right here. All complete, six ninety-five. And if you send me the weight of the pistons, if you have a gram scale, twenty-eight grams to an ounce, uh, I could uh, do the balancing too. That's included. Okay, over here, rebuild your own motor. We're doing a lot of them, eight, nine a week. Okay, look at this, the pan head. Beautiful job. This is all going out uh, in. Uh, Probably uh, Tuesday, the beginning of next week. Uh, we do the complete lower end, balancing, glass beating, all new bearings, uh, rod set, crank pin. Here we do the heads. See that? Nice job. Stainless steel, black nitrated valves. I put a new exhaust port on here for them. And uh, we bought out the uh, cylinders, the next size, 8.5 to 1 cast pistons, Hastings rings, and we give you guys a gasket set. If there's any questions when you get your motor back, anything you want to know, you're always welcome to call me. You're not, you won't be bothering me. I'd rather you call me than make any kind of a mistake. Okay, this guy here, the whole lower end, 695. That's going out Tuesday. And uh, I'm really not catching up, but I'm, I'm working as fast as I can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another uh, few weeks, uh, I'm going to have to take my Jeep out of here. This whole floor is going to be full of motor jobs, because everybody's going to be getting ready for the spring. Okay, this is what I'm doing over here. Okay, this guy uh, stripped out his spark plug hole. See that? All stripped out. I bored it out uh, to three quarters, 750 thousandths. Okay, what I do here, uh, I take a piece of aluminum stock and uh, see we cut it down to 750,000, three quarters of an inch. And after I get that uh, cut down, we snip the piece off about uh, three quarters of an inch and this is what it'll look like. This is the little dowel here that we put inside the uh, head here that I just drilled out. Okay, this will fit in here perfect. See that? Yeah, see like that? And uh, then I'm going to weld the whole thing up and uh, I'm, then I'm going to relocate the hole. Okay? Once your uh, spark plug uh, threads get stripped out, uh, this is the biggest helicoil uh, that's uh, manufactured. See that? 9 sixteenths, 14 millimeter. So once your, your threads are stripped out bigger than that, you have to weld it up, right? And relocate the hole. But not anymore. Let me show you my new idea. My top secret idea. <laughs> and after I show it to you, it's not going to be a top secret. <laughs> 
Okay, right here. This is my idea. I'm having. I'm not making these myself. I'm having these made. These are made on a screw machine. If you guys know what a screw machine is, uh, I'm having these made up in Denver, and these are very big, oversized inserts, uh, three quarters of an inch, and you need 11 16th uh, tap to uh, make them fit in your head. Okay, so this spark plug, 9 16th, 14 millimeter, is going to go in the insert I'm having made. You see like that and then you tap that three quarters and uh, this here will fit right in there screw right in look at that and this way we won't have to weld them up anymore because uh, a lot of times when we do weld them up uh, especially the older heads like the pan heads uh, they crack that's one reason uh, I really don't like putting seats in pan heads because uh, the material they used back then, 1948 to 65, is very, the sand casting is very weak. So uh, this is a great idea. So uh, these will be for sale. Uh, I'm getting a uh, hundred of these made right now. So uh, you guys need them, just give me a call. And uh, I think this is a great idea to fix the uh, bad threads in the uh, holly heads. Okay, over here. I did weld uh, a couple up here, and I got to do these today. Let me show you what I'm working on today. <clears throat> See, it's all welded up. Here, take a look in there. All welded up solid. See, the reason we have to put a dowel in there is because you can't weld one inch thick aluminum without getting air bubbles in the middle. So by putting the dowel in there, it eliminates the, uh, the air bubbles. Okay? Okay, so uh, what we do first here... Got to set the machine underneath the, uh, the head here. It's got to be at 45 degrees. See, there's a protractor. See, it says 45 degrees. See where the bubble is? That's the, uh, the angle that the uh, Holly Davidson uh, spot plugs are put in. Okay. Now to find the middle of the hole there that I just welded up, this is what I do. Everybody does things different, but uh, the way I'm doing things, I've been doing it for years, and it definitely works. So uh, let's see what happens here. Okay, this is the way I find the middle. Uh, see this, stu this stud here? Okay, I'm going to lower this down. Do like that. Go a little over there like that. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. See? That's just about in the middle there. It's only a spot plug hole. It don't have to be super precision, you know? Okay, so we got that measurement there. Okay, now that'll be the middle. Now we go this way. Okay, from this stud to the middle of the hole is five and a half inches. And I'll show you what I do. Okay, veneer caliber, right here, five and a half inches. Okay, I just find a hole like this. I put this on the uh, stud there, and go five and a half. See? Now, uh, what I do normally, I take a magic marker. Okay, it's going to be right there. Okay. Okay, now what I do is I find the middle there. Okay, see like that. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, now we lock the table. See, I'm going to lock the table, we're going to take this out, and we're going to uh, take a uh, quarter inch, 250 thousandths drill. It doesn't really matter if it's a little smaller, a little bigger. It's a pilot hole I'm going to make. So we're going to go straight down with that.
put a little oil on it. Now, if you got a uh, early head, it's a uh, it's only a uh, seven sixteenths uh, deep uh, threaded hole. If you got a uh, a head nineteen seventy five and up a shovel head, it takes the uh, three quarter reach uh, spot plug and twelve wide. Okay, we're gonna take that out. Okay, now we got the pilot hole. Now we get the nine sixteenth uh, drill here. This actually was a 9 16 drill, but I have these undercut. I, didn't, I, I don't know if I told you, five to six thousandths undercut 9 16 And that'll make the interference fit when I uh, thread the uh, aluminum. Okay, a little more oil. And we're going to go straight down. Right through that little dowel that I showed you that I weld in. This way there'll be no air bubbles. Okay, now we got that. We're gonna take that out. I should really blow this out, but I don't have the compressor going, so I apologize. Okay, now we're going to take the 9 16 14 millimeter tap and we're going to go straight down. Okay, now this takes a little practice. If I don't put the right pressure on this handle, it's going to strip the threads right out. So I don't recommend you guys do this the first time, especially not, you don't do it on a customer's head. You got to get some old heads and uh, practice. Okay, so watch this. How's that, huh? Okay, let's unscrew that. I should have made it tighter. Let me get a pliers here. Perfect threads. Take a look at those threads. Okay, one more step. Okay, we're going to take this out. These are quick change attachments. And we're going to put a, uh, a two flute end mill in here. And now that's going to uh, put a nice flat surface on there. Okay, 
And now uh, you got the spark plug, should fit right in there. Let me grab the spark plug here. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yep, just like that. Okay guys, so anyway, if you guys want any of this work done, uh, just give me a call, 719-683-2200. Uh, my uh, mailing address is 1200 Dragon Man Drive, Colorado Springs, Colorado, 80929. And right now, we're only uh, about a week and a half behind. But the longer you wait, the longer it's going to take for us to get your job done. Any questions, give me a call. Thanks a lot for watching.